the problem they have, like I say, or had, is that they weren't getting enough deaths to really frighten the population. So they needed a lot of people to die very quickly in the spring of 2020. So what they did in Britain, they did it in other countries too, but I can talk about the British example, is we had a health secretary at the time called Matt Hancock. And he oversaw the ordering, not least two years supply from France, of an end of life drug called midazolam, which is used in by a number of American states in the execution process. It's a sedative. And if you give too much of it, um, you kill people. And I've seen documented evidence. We've done a documentary about it on Iconic. I've seen documented evidence given to me uh, that shows that uh, the levels of midazolam that were given to people were lethal and would have been known to be lethal. And another effect of midazolam, ironically, is that it suppresses respiration and respiratory, the respiratory process. So if you take midazolam, you start to have breathing problems. And the more midazolam they give you, the more breathing problems you have until it kills you. And these, 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 this, this, this connection to the breathing problems and the, the suppression of respiration is actually uh, in, in the regulations of midazolam use. It's all there to be seen. So in Britain, you had this massive, massive um, uh, delivery of midazolam in the spring of 2020. And they used midazolam in the... Uh, in in, in um, the preparation for operations. But they stopped operations except the most emergency. So all that midazolam that would have been used in operations was now not being used in operations. And suddenly, in this same period, uh, April 2020, the midazolam use went through the freaking roof way beyond, beyond anything it's been used before. And this is what they've done. And they did it in America and they did it in other countries. They said to the hospitals in Britain, this is through Hancock and those that control him, it's a pawn, a psychopathic pawn, yes, but a pawn. Um, we've got to clear the beds for this big influx of COVID people that's coming in this pandemic, which never actually came. That's why you saw all these nurses uh, on TikTok doing dancing. their dancing in empty hospitals. Nobody bloody there. So we've got to get clear the beds. So what the hospitals did, they did this in America, the same thing happened there with another drug, and they um, they they put them into the care homes. Uh, and if you're in hospital and you're elderly, you've got your your health is in serious trouble. But they put these very seriously ill people into care homes, and they fed them midazolam. At the same time they fed them midazolam, they were putting um, do not resuscitate orders on them. Not only on on the elderly. But on people with learning and difficulties, people with um, with psychological problems, just like the Nazis. And these people were dying in droves. And what will happen is thousands and thousands and thousands of old people in Britain died in this very same period from midazolam. And they said they died of COVID-19 because it was the respiratory thing that did that did for them. Right. Well, that was caused by the midazolam, you psychopath. And. Um, what did they call that? Thousands of people dying. The first wave of COVID. Because mm -hmm. they didn't have a virus, so they had to make it seem as if they did. In America, they used a drug called uh, remdesivir that was um, mandated for use on so-called COVID pa pa patients. They tested positive with the test, not tested with the virus, by, by, by the psychopath um, Anthony Fauci. And what um, remdesivir does is it stops the kidneys function, stops other organs functioning, but it stops the kidneys function. It's, it's infamous for it. And so what happens is um, the, the, uh, um, the uh, abdominal cavity started filling up with water of people and, and their lungs filled up with water and they literally drowned. And they called this the first wave of COVID in America. This is how it was done.